Amphibious Construction Battalion 2, abbreviated as ACB2 or PHIBCB2, is an amphibious construction battalion in the United States Navy based in Little Creek, Virginia. Amphibious Construction Battalion 1 is its sister unit based in Coronado, California. Topic: <laughs> Mission PHIBCB-2 combines the small craft expertise of the surface Navy with the construction capabilities of the Naval Construction Force. We support Commander, Naval Beach Group 2 in amphibious force projection with fully trained, combat-ready forces. History ACB-2 has its beginnings in World War II, it started out as the 105th Naval Construction Battalion, she was commissioned 24 July 1943 at Camp Perry, from there she was sent to Camp Parks, in California, and then to Advance Base Depot Port Hunami. While there the battalion became part of movie history by providing the men and equipment for staging portions of the filming of the Fighting Seabees. At Port Hunami the 105th boarded the United States Army Transport Sea Devil bound for New Guinea via Townsville, Australia. There, she would join the 7th Fleet at Milne Bay and her sister battalion the 104th, at Milne. The primary tasks were the construction of an amphibious training center, the battalion's camp, a Liberty Ship Pier, and a tank farm on Swinger Bay adjacent the Coral Sea. The Seabees historian William Huey states that if all the warehouses built by the 105th at Milne were combined it would create a structure 40 feet by 75,000 15 miles. The battalion also had several detachments. One went to Hillamoy Bay to help the 91st CB build a hospital for shipment to a forward site. Another 150 men built a second sawmill to augment the one being run by the 84th CB at Milne Bay. Of note are two 105 specialized details of divers that traveled over a hundred miles on undisclosed missions. Milne Bay is one of the most malaria-infested regions of the world, and the 105th was there from January to October 1944. That month, several LSTs arrived to embark the battalion for Island X. En route they laid up a few days at Hollandia, on 24 October 1944, or D plus 4, the battalion landed at Tacloban, Leyte. The 105th was the first entire CB battalion to land in the Philippines, also landing at Tacloban were the 75th CB and the 1024 CBD they all were part of the 12th Construction Regiment, the 104th would be sent there too. The following day, 400 men were sent to Anabong Point. November 12 saw the rear echelon arrive at San Pedro Bay, Leyte, from Milne Bay. On that same day, the OIC at Anabong Point sent a detachment to San Antonio, northern Samar. Before the war was over there would be additional detachments sent to Tolosa, Guiwan, Balingaga, and Osmina. The 105 Tis cruise book states, The 105th is a battalion distinguished only by its normalcy. In the Philippines, she built an airfield, roads, barracks, camps and water tanks. During the first 31 days she came under air attack 138 times. On VJ Day, there were 32,000 Seabees in Subic Bay including those in the 105th. The battalion made itself a reputation known as far back as Australia for moonlight acquisition. Activities: The 105th Naval Construction Battalion was recommissioned the 22nd of January 1947 at Little Creek, Virginia, and was placed under the operational control of Commander, Amphibious Training Command, U.S. Atlantic Fleet. At this time, the battalion absorbed the duties and materials of the old pontoon training unit of COMPHIBTRALANT. When Naval Beach Group 2 was established in 1948, the 105th NCB became a component of that command. In October 1949, the first NCB was recommissioned at Little Creek also. The Navy changed CB designations that year and they both became Mobile Construction Battalions MCBs. 
This lasted less than a year for the 105th because the battalion was re-designated Amphibious Construction Battalion 2 in 1950. By the time the Korean War broke out the Naval Construction Force had been reduced to 2,800 men, MCB-1, ACB-1, and ACB-2. That quickly changed by December as the force was rapidly expanded. From 1972 to 1975, ACB-2 was a component of Naval Inshore Warfare Command following the decommissioning of Naval Beach Group 2. However, ACB-2 once again became a component of Naval Beach Group 2 when it was recommissioned in 1975. Since World War II, ACB-2 has distinguished itself in a myriad of operations including Passage to Freedom Task Force 90 The 1954 Geneva Agreement recognizing the communist government of North Vietnam allowed for people residing in the North to move south before 15 May 1955. Both ACBs were assigned to TF-90. Operation Blue Bat 1958 Lebanon Crisis Multinational Force in Lebanon August 1982 to February 1984 Operation Urgent Fury October 1983 Grenada Operation Sharp Edge in Liberia in 1991 Operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm in 1990-1991 Operation Uphold Democracy in Haiti in 1994 TWA Flight 800 and Egypt Air Flight 990 Disaster Recovery Efforts Joint Task Force Katrina 2005 Operation Iraqi Freedom Operation Unified Response 2010 Haiti Earthquake Tektite I On 28 January 1969 a detachment from Amphibious Construction Battalion 2 augmented by an additional 17 CB divers from both the Atlantic and Pacific fleets as well as the 21st NCR began the installation of the Tektite habitat in Great Lamisher Bay at Lamisher, U.S. Virgin Islands. The Tektite program was funded by NASA and was the first scientists in the sea program sponsored by the U.S. government. The Seabees also constructed a 12-hut base camp at Veers that is used today as the Virgin Islands Environmental Resource Station. <laughs> <laughs> Unit awards ACB2 has received several unit citations and commendations. Members who participated in actions that merited the award are authorized to wear the medal or ribbon associated with the award on their uniform. Awards and decorations of the United States Armed Forces have different categories, i.e. service, campaign, unit, and personal. Unit citations are distinct from the other decorations. The following unit awards are twos. ACB2 was the first CB awarded the Joint Meritorious Unit Award. Also receiving the award were 100 men from ACB1 that were attached to ACB2 at that time. Joint Meritorious Unit Award 1986. Navy Unit Commendation. Navy Unit Commendation. Navy Meritorious Unit Commendation. Navy Meritorious Unit Commendation Campaign and Service Awards Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal with one Bronze Star 105 NCB Philippine Liberation Medal with two Bronze Stars 105 NCB World War II Victory Medal 105 NCB National Defense Service Medal Vietnam Humanitarian Service Medal February to March 1976 1976 Guatemala Earthquake Humanitarian Service Medal ACB2 Debt Evacuation of Beirut 1976 Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal ACB Debt Invasion of Grenada 1983 National Defense Service Medal War on Terror Southwest Asia Service Medal the Battalion also qualified for the Golden Anchor Award for Retention Excellence in FY01 and FY03. 
With over 1,100 active duty and reserve men and women, Amphibious Construction Battalion 2 provides the U.S. Atlantic Fleet with the ship-to-shore link so vital to success in amphibious operations. See also Admiral Ben Mariel Amphibious Construction Battalion 1 ACB1 Civil Engineer Corps United States Navy Naval Construction Battalion aka CB Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 1 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 3 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 4 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 7 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 11 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 25 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 26 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 40 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 133 Naval Construction Battalion Center Gulfport, Mississippi Naval Construction Battalion Center Port Hunami Naval Amphibious Base Little Creek Naval Amphibious Base Coronado Seabees in World War II